Welcome to Season 2 of Sailing Lookum U. This season we head north to Queensland to try and escape the winter blues. Well, we hope we can. And we're hoping to head further north this season up to Cairns and visit the reefs on the way. But before we can get underway, we've got some work to do on the boat. Previously, it went straight across there. Now, Anki used to come up and hit the front of the boat all the time and was starting to damage it. So we've had this machined in, so when the anchor comes up, it's not gonna hit out the front. So we have good news. We couldn't actually film putting the roller bar back on to the boat because it was just too difficult. We needed to have- Didn't have enough hands. We didn't have enough hands. And there was just a bit too much um, what would you say? A few words. <laughs> so we've had success. The, um, the anchor comes up and now it doesn't hit the front of the boat. We're very happy about that. Yeah. We bought new sails for Look and Mew. We decided to stick with the same as what we had before from UK sails. They look fabulous. We were really keen to get out and go for a sail. Jobs are complete and now it's time to provision. Our first leg was from Jervis Bay to Sydney Harbour. We have a newbie crew member who will be joining us. It's my brother Craig, who is new to the world of sailing and keen to learn the ropes. We had stops at Port Stephens, Port Macquarie and Coffs Harbour, but one of our most memorable stops was crossing Yamba Bar. Just before we reached Yamba, we were hit by a squall that blasted us with a 35 knot wind and a boat speed of 17 knots. We didn't realise at the time our halyard on our mainsail got twisted and would not come down for us to cross the bar. Peter did a great job at the helm at getting us safely across the bar. It was there at Yamba we were stuck for a whole week because we couldn't cross the bar safely to get back out again. But we made the most of our time there. come down. We winched a very keen sailor Craig up the mast to untwist the halyard. It was to be the highlight of his trip. Well, good 
afternoon from Yamba, coming from the mighty Clarence River. Well, we've been here in Yamba for quite a few days. We had uh, an eventful crossing of the sandbar. And since then, we've had so much rain. It's just been unbelievable. And we've been trying to continue on our trip north up to Queensland, but unfortunately, we're unable to get out due to the bar crossing because the swell is just too high and it's just too rough. So I think we'll be here for another few more days. So rather than just sit around, we've just decided to head up to the Yamba Shores Tavern and I believe that we can just tie off at the tavern, have a meal, have a drink and stay there for the night. So stay tuned. So we've got our friend from Jervis Bay, Steve on Shambhala, a sea wind. He's single handed all the way. Well, here we are at the Yamba Shores Tavern. We've got Shambhala just sitting behind us. Steve just tying off there. We've got the Admiral, Craig. We've got the Captain. And I think I've been demoted. Got the Commodore. <laughs> the Commodore. Ah, oh, this is so cool. Fabulous place. Although we enjoyed the Yamba Tavern and had a great time there, we thought we need to leave Yamba at some stage. So you could just walk down from the main town of Yamba and have a look at what's happening at the bar. You can walk straight along the rock wall and check out each side. And that's what we would do each day. Come down, have a look at the entrance. Even though it was a sunny day, as you can see, was still an easterly swell coming through and the entrance still looked a little bit ordinary. So we're just cruising past the Byron Bay Lighthouse, which is the most easterly point of Australia. It's a little bit in the distance there to see some rocks, or Julian rocks, There's some moorings there, but we're not going there. We're going to tuck ourselves right round the corner, and hopefully have no roll. We've arrived into Byron Bay and we've headed across to the main beach. It's quite rolly here, the swell's coming in from the east and just looking across at our friend's boat Shambhala and a tri Nui behind him. So it's going to be quite a rolly anchorage here for the night but we need to stay here uh, before we head up to the Gold Coast Seaway tomorrow. We survived our night at Byron Bay alongside Shambhala and Trinui, where the easterly swell was brutal and kept us awake for most of the night. Today we're heading to the Gold Coast Seaway. We have the main and jib out doing a great job of 7 to 8 knots in a 15 knot westerly. Seas are calm and flat. We arrive to the seaway and are welcome with a flat, easy to enter entrance.
Well, this just about sums up our arrival to the Gold Coast. On our next episode, we spring into action to fix a very leaky window. We encounter beautiful sunsets at Bundaberg, and once again, we meet the notorious Wide Bay Bar that gives us a hearty welcome. We scoot through the Great Sandy Straits and finally make it to the Keppel Islands. Don't forget, if you like our channel, why not subscribe and share with your friends.